A conductivity tester is a simple tool used by scientists to determine whether a material is a conductor or an insulator. Remember, a conductor allows energy to move through. An insulator stops or slows energy. Let's learn how to make one. You're going to need the following materials. A 9-volt battery, an LED, a piece of cardboard, aluminum foil cut and folded into thin strips, markers, and packing tape. Once you have all of your materials and you're ready to go, we're going to start with our cardboard and our aluminum foil. The aluminum foil strips that we cut and folded are going to be our wires. We're going to need them to be parallel to each other, but they can't touch. We need one side for the negative terminal and the other side for the positive terminal of the battery to connect. Use your battery as reference to see just how close you can get them without touching. Next, we're going to secure our wires to our cardboard using packing tape. I always start by putting a piece right down the middle so that both pieces are secured to the board. You're probably going to need a couple of pieces. I always find the tape is not quite wide enough. So I add another piece to the right side. And a third piece to the left side. This will keep my circuit from moving around while I'm testing my objects. The last part is to make sure that we have free ends on our wires. Notice we only place tape in the middle. We have a connection point at the top and a connection point at the bottom. Take your 9 volt battery and stand it up at the end. There should be one terminal on each piece of wire. You might have to adjust a couple times. Once you have your battery standing, you're going to use your LED at the other end of the circuit. Make sure you have a negative to positive connection, otherwise your light bulb won't light up. You might have to rotate either your battery or your bulb and make some adjustments. If you're having trouble keeping your battery secured, I've found that rubber bands work really well. Congratulations, you've built a conductivity tester. Now it's time to put it to work. Gather a number of materials from around your classroom or your house that you'd like to test. Check your light bulb one more time. Make sure it's still working and you have it in the right direction. We're gonna place objects between the light bulb and the aluminum foil to close the circuit. The bulb will indicate whether it's a conductor or not. The glass marble is an insulator. Don't forget to keep track of your observations by recording them in a notebook. Next up, we have a plastic Lego minifigure. This one is definitely an insulator. An iron magnet. The light bulb tells me that it's a conductor. A galvanized nail. Another conductor. A steel needle, conductor, a copper wire, another conductor. I find that smaller objects are harder to get between the light bulb and the aluminum foil, so it may take a couple tries. And a fabric napkin, insulator. What did you notice about all of the conductors? Did they have something in common? Now you're ready for the fun part. Use your markers and get creative and start thinking of ways we can improve our design.